Good evening and welcome back once again. So I thought we'd try something different and we'll actually start in the pre-match formation screen instead of just the main screen of Master League. Going forward, I may do this on most of the matches and if there's any transfer updates and anything like that, I'll probably start in the main screen. Just trying something different. But as you can see today, we've made a few changes, mainly due to rotation. The likes of Emerson, Arkas, Schubert, they're on a bit of downward form and they need a bit of a rest so they've dropped down. We're going to start with post and goal. We've got a back four of Teixeira, Omaradzic, Balbuena and McDowell. We've got Herrera, Mariba and Fabio Vieira in the field. Up top we've got Castro, supported by Mudrik and Carlos Perez. Back at home at the lovely La Rosa Leda Stadium for Malaga. I always either mispronounce it or nearly mispronounce it. And like I say, in terms of the start, I think I will, going forward, just start in that match screen, the formation screen. Um... I don't know, just feel like mixing up a little bit. And if you're watching the series anyway, you'll you know you'll be able to see the what's happened in the previous match, etc. And of course post match we'll go on the main screen and have a look at the table and uh talk her through a little bit normally. Tech share it. Ooh, long distance. Well, 35 yards, something like that. One another solid three points today. Good performance. This match comes, I think it's three days after the last one. So some tired bodies, as you saw earlier. There's Castro. Don't know if that was really a good challenge. Now Vieira. Good interception there. But Mariba, oop, I thought Mariba got it back. It's been um, a few days since I've actually played Pez. Um, I've said it before, but I often record in batches. Just from, obviously, other life stuff. You know, I've got work, I've got a son and things like that. So, when I get time and I'm in the mood and I'm not, like... You know, because I don't want to burn myself out from it as well. So, I don't want to force myself to do it. Chance here, though. Oof. So, yeah, what I like to do is when I'm really in the mood to do it, I'll normally record at least a few episodes at once. And it just gives me... A little bit of sort of safety in terms of I've got videos ready to go if I need some time off or whatever I don't have to worry too much when we got quite normally quite a way ahead actually in terms of videos that I've either got to edit or have edited and are just sitting on YouTube waiting to go Um, just the way I do it it's Perez, Mariba oh, offside yeah I was actually trying to pass to Mudrick whether he would have been offside. No, he wouldn't have been. As, well, I mean, you, you'll see how far I am ahead. Um, it's the 17th of March today. Um, this probably won't be going out till, I'm guessing, I think it'll be some point in April. So, oh, lovely play by Vieira there. Nice footwork, and McDowell could be in here. Uh, the ball was just it's too many defenders, and they've just booted out. One week until Resident Evil 4 Remake comes out. Hopefully you would have seen me play the demo that's on the channel. Lived up to expectations so far. Mariba, oof, what a strike. Look at the power on that. I know it was off target, but that was some absolutely blasted. Yeah, but the, the remake of Resident Evil 4 so far, the, the first section that you get to play, really, really good. So happy with it. And um, the Metacritic ratings have just come out today for uh, people that have got codes for the reviews. And it's get, getting absolutely amazing reviews. I think it's got 93, I think, so far on Metacritic overall. Um, most people have given it at least a 9 or 10 
in a lot of cases out of 10. I think there's one random review. It's only one random review where I gave 7 out of 10, so that's probably knocked it down a tiny bit. Um, anyway, here's Perez. That's got to be a foul. How is that not a foul? He's got fouled about three times there. Here's Balbuena. Nicely through to Perez. God, they've got so many bodies in defence, though. And what's happened there? I don't know what uh, Reina's doing. And they get away with it. They're going to get the ball, as always. Oh, but McDowell in here. Now Vieira. Vieira. Oh, it's always blocked. Every time. And also I've been trying to stream a little bit on Twitch. Not massively, you know, maybe once or twice a week, depending on how busy I am. Some weeks more than others. Some weeks I might not be able to stream at all. And then I'm putting the VODs on um, YouTube, obviously. It's a good tackle there. Carlos Perez lost out. He's lost out again. God, it's nearly half time already. Uh, it's been scrappy. Nicely won, somehow kept in. Perez, Ruben Castro. Again, they're just getting to the ball before me. Every 50 50, they're just getting in there ahead of me. It's a bad tackle. Yeah, and he did get booked. I thought he would. Ah, chance of a counter-attack gone. And that's it. There it is, half-time. Strange half. I mean, looking at possession, 61%, but not a lot of chances going on. Mariba had a speculative effort, which was good effort, but not on target. Got to pick up the pace in the second half. They just seem to be... have so many players in defence when we've got the ball. Good save from post. I don't know where that sort of came out of nowhere. Yeah, we're not playing well today. Really not. I've had a bit of time off from the game and it's I think it's showing. Just the passes. I'm not finding that. I'd love to see how many passes uh, were actually made percentage wise. Oh, come on. That's not a foul. I've got the ball. Right, well, I definitely got the ball that time. Nice ball through to Carlos Perez. But again, there's just not anyone in support. Herrera. No take Herrera. Herrera again. Herrera. Oh, good effort. Perez. Ah, straight at the keeper. Good effort from Herrera and a, a decent save, but... It says it all when you, your best chance is from about 25 yards in the game. And we're 60 minutes in. But good chance here. Oh, lovely little pass there. Oh, Perez is over on it. Oh, and he hits it wide. It wasn't the finish. It was the, the touch or lack of touch from Perez that did it. It's a beautiful ball in. Nice play. Thought about going for the 1-2 Mudrick, but then saw Perez on the overlap. And he just he should have touched it there, and he didn't. Gonna have a look to see if we can maybe make a substitution. I'm gonna take off Mariba just because he's on a yellow card. I bring on Bajer and I'm gonna bring on Harrington from Mudrick, which I'm not sure what he wanted to do, but Mudrick hasn't really been in the game at all and we need to do something. And of our midfielders, I mean no one's done anything really, but Mariba probably feels a bit hard done by going off. 
but he has got that yellow and like I say it's just not working at the moment so we need to to find something and here's Harrington nice little ball to the other substitute Bajer a nice ball there again Teixeira oh he's offside close but he was definitely offside nice play though already by Bajer and Harrington probably done more in this game than there uh... <laughs> what these referees are just atrocious the free kicks that they gave sometimes is just it's just so annoying it's not consistent either and I don't know what has happened there I don't want the free kick now I'm sure he could play on there now he has to get a yellow card and he didn't right of course not Castro nice play to Bajer but he gets tackled just a solid yellow wall. Now Bajer again. That's a foul. Come on. That's got to be yellow this time. No. He's just going to give him a warning again. Right. Whatever. Bad corner. Bajer Castro, Bajer again. Oh, what a goal that was. It was going to take something special to get through this team. And that's exactly what we've done there. Pass from Bajer, the, the little touch from Castro, and absolutely fired in. On Bajer as he gets it back first time. Lovely one too. That touch from Castro there. Right in the corner. And the substitutions have made a massive difference. It's been a pretty poor game. Let's be honest. Has not been the best at all. But that was something special. That's made up for the... The lack of quality for the rest of the game, maybe. Castro and now Bajer. Castro again. Oh, Fabier Vieira just couldn't quite get it. Herrera's getting his shirt pulled. Herrera? Oh, I think that was well wide in the end. I mean, we didn't even get a replay. And for Pez, that's uh, saying something. Why did Fabio Vieira stop running there? Literally as soon as I let go of the pass button, he stopped running. I swear the AI do things like that on purpose. It's so weird. in the keep route oh for god's sake I could not change my player it would just not let me change my player it was actually a really nice finish in the end I don't want to blame the goalkeeper too much but I brought him out with enough time and I don't think he should have punched it I think he could have easily just caught it there yeah and I was trying to get McDowell back and it just wouldn't let me change it quick enough I 
and all that effort and Villarreal to be fair have been pretty terrible you know they haven't shown any intent to really attack just want to defend and I've made a bit of a mistake there um, and it's probably going to cost us there's probably not going to be much at our own time there is three minutes 9 ball Harrington I mean he was someone was fouled there and I'm probably not going to get a yellow card I got to have at least a decent corner here it is oh Harrington what are you doing oh, it's a terrible header it was a good ball all you wanted you wanted a chance and um, we got it we just one last chance maybe Carlos Perez Perez we've got the win oh no way four and a half minutes into only three minutes of added on time whether we deserve that I'm not sure Lovely ball through and just slotted away with his weaker foot, his right foot. Lovely ball through from Castro. And Reina guessed the wrong way. <sighs> I don't think we we'll deserve that. I really don't. Looking at the stats, yes, we had the majority of the possession. Shots and on target were way more than Villarreal. Like I say, I don't think they specifically deserved anything out of the game. I'm not sure we really deserved to win either. Villarreal were just happy to sit back and defend the whole game. And they got a bit of luck and we made a mistake. It looked like we had paid for it. Beautiful ball from Castro and a lovely finish from Perez. And looking at the ratings, no surprise that Perez and Castro get the top two ratings, with Perez being man of the match. I would say Castro was man of the match. I thought he was the only one that was solid throughout. And that's it for this week. Very strange game. Exciting in the end. The first half was dull as dishwater. Two really good goals from ourselves. And their goal as well, I mean, it was our mistake, but the finish was lovely. It was a lovely lob. Hopefully you can join us next time where we're in our last group game of the Europa League against Midland. I believe we're already through, but we'll want to win that one to keep top spot. Thank you very much for joining. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and think about subscribing to keep up to date with the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.